when you decode this reality back to source code, you're going to save money because you don't need to go to a movie. They're all the same. It's the sine wave. All the horror shows, same. All the love stories, the same. All the time travel movies, the same. It's all the same. Why would I go look at that junk? Why would I go spend, what is it now, like 20 bucks? Who knows what it is to go to a stupid movie when it's just a story that some man wrote and he can't think outside the Bible, so it has to be a version of the Bible stories that's already been told. You're in a time loop, let me tell you this. <laughs> the children of Israel left Egypt, right? Just like you leave Egypt. You leave Babylon. And they circled around in the wilderness for 40 years. What were they learning? Learning to worship God. Learning to think like God. Learning to learn His statutes and His ways and all this. Now check this out. So, what are you doing? You might travel. You might go over here and go over here. But you always come back to your, to your city where you're doing your job or your business. And you're just going around the loop. Loop-de-loop, -loop, right? Round the loop. Round and around and around you go. For 40 years. And you work that job for 40 years. And you say, what was it all for? If you didn't build character on that job, if you weren't able to look at your inner man. See, a lot of times these jobs, they want you so busy and preoccupied that you can't even pay attention to your thoughts. Then you leave the job and you go to church and you're so preoccupied. Then you go and turn the TV on, your mind is busy. On your way home or to the church, you cut the music on. So your mind is never able to hear from God. Because your mind is so preoccupied with the world, the flesh, pride life. And people say, I can do it. I can hear from God and listen to the noise of the system. You're a big fat liar. You're a big fat liar. And I know you are because I know people that said they can do it. And why are they going home and drinking? Too much stress on the job. Cut off the noise and stress will go away. Big, fat liar. You're a liar. This present evil world, their music, their TV, their news, their games, their football, their basketball, this present evil world. What do you want me to do? I ain't your God. You do. You find what God gives. God has a gift for you. I don't. What else am I going to do? I'm not God. God showed me what to do. I decoded this place for 10 years and then I tell people about it. If whoever wants to hear it. But you might have a different gift. Why are you asking me? Go to your creator. Don't ask me. Go to God. Sit in your house like I did for six months. Say, I need something to do, Lord. Just sit there and wait on the answer. See what happens. Lord, I'm bored with this place. This place is crazy. I need something to do. Okay, I'll give you something to do. Get ready. It's going to be off the roof. You ain't even going to know what it you, you It's going to be so wild beyond your wildest dreams that you won't even believe it. I'm sitting here debating whether I should go over here and eat. Go to that other restaurant. It'll be beyond your wildest dreams. Also, Lord, so none of this is just a car going down the street? This is like a storyline? Yep, it sure is. Six thousand Uber rides. You don't think I know what people are like? You don't think I've seen all kinds? From the rich to the drunks. And some of the rich are drunkards. 
I picked some people up in a mansion. They went out and got drunk, and they're talking foolishness, and they were rich. Well, what's that about? How can you be rich and be a fool? I don't get it. I do get it, but I don't get it. The hive mind wants to, to promote those who promote the hive. The hive mind wants to promote those who are going to be a, a bad example to everybody else, but make it look like on the outside that they're happy on the inside, and they're not, because they're all getting drunk, because they're miserable. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. And all your holidays are nothing but mockery of the holy day. Don't even know that. Your money's fake. It's monopoly money. 2% 2, 2 inflation keeps you poor. Because your raise probably is not... Your, your yearly raise is not 2%, probably. Who knows if it is. Who cares? Trust God. You don't trust a company. Trust God. If God wants to promote you, He will promote you. He might promote you to another job. But He's going to promote you one way or the other. When God's disciplines in you and spanks you and scourges you, you better listen. He scourges every son he receives. He will take you to the woodshed and it won't be pretty. You think a human can spank you? Wait till God spanks you. You ain't seen pain till God spanks you and scourges you. One kind of pain is you get emotionally connected to somebody you shouldn't be connected to. And then it has to come apart. And it's like, it's like, a, that's worse than being addicted to some kind of drug. But God will remove it if you get your heart right. That's worse than a drug. I've never been addicted to drugs, but I'm guessing it's worse. If that's what drug, if that's what addiction feels like, because it's probably just addiction. It's probably, probably what real love, who knows? Everybody's got their own perception of reality and everybody projects a, a different perception. When you really do the meditation and you really get serious about knowing what this place is, you'll find out that it is a simulation. It is a book. You're in the book. You could read about Adam and Eve, but you can also read about Revelation. So you're in between, but you're in the same book and everything that you're thinking and saying is being recorded. Everything that you're doing is being recorded. All your thoughts and all your heart conditions are being recorded and it's a game playing out in front of the archons and they're watching this. Is he going to get his heart right? Job is Job going to get his heart right? Let's see. Is Job going to curse God and die like what the devil told his wife to tell her? Tell him. The devil took over Job's wife. Job married to this believer in God and Job's wife said, curse God and die. Because she lost everything. She was distraught. Now, why, why would she tell her husband to curse God and die, knowing that they were blessed by God all in time? Because she thought that he did something to cause that. She didn't look at herself, but she looked at Job. Just like Job's friends, <laughs> something bad happened to Job and all his friends came from all over places well what are you doing wrong what'd you do wrong what kind of sin you got what is this What's, why ain't your heart right who was it Job there's like three people listed as the most righteous people Job Daniel and who else John the Baptist no, Job, Daniel, and uh, Ote uh, what was that guy's name? The coat of many colors. Joshua. Isn't that what his name was? Because I think his name means he was a type of Christ. Job, Daniel, and Joshua never cursed God. Has your wife left you? Has your family tried to kill you? Has stuff happened to you? Have you cursed God or have you trusted God the whole time, even when you couldn't see it? David said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Are you going to curse God when bad stuff happens? Or are you going to praise God? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Every day is a good day. 
I know when I was married, oh, it's a bad day. What are you talking about? Every day is a good day. You're looking at it from an upper, you're looking at it through a filter of emotions. You're not looking at it from an eternal truth. If God says every day is a good day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. If that's Bible, that's truth. What do your feelings have to do with it? Your feelings don't have jack to do with it. Why are you going by feelings? Why aren't you going by eternal archetypical truths? They died. If they're saved, they're in heaven. If they didn't, they chose death. They chose hell. You'll see them again if they're saved. Get up, wash your face, start a new life. You'll see them again. Don't live in the past. Live in the now. Live in, if you don't want to live in the now, live in the future blessings that you know that you're going to get in heaven. <laughs>